Hello and welcome. My name is Rhett and today's topic, tyre flotation and air pressure. I'm going to draw a diagram to illustrate the point. This is the ground, let's call it asphalt. This is a tyre at 36 psi. This is, a, this is a tread that's touching the ground. We call that the contact patch. This is a tyre at 12 psi. You'll notice that the contact patch It's close to twice as long and for a ratio of 3 to 1, this is one third the pressure, that's about right. If you third the pressure you might get around about double the, uh, double the tread sitting on the ground and that massively increases the flotation. So if you go onto a soft surface you'll notice that this one sinks a lot less than that one. Now some people will say, well, what about this one that's got bulging sidewalls? This one has got wider contact patch as well. Well, actually, not really, no. With this one, the sidewalls will be fairly straight. You've got the tread area, the tread width and the width of the contact patch. Same thing. With this one, you'll notice here the bulging sidewalls. As this has compressed down, the sidewalls are now bulging in this lower portion of the tyre, but the tread width is the same. The actual tread width hasn't changed and it's only tread touching the ground. We don't have sidewall bulging around and touching the ground. So the width of the contact patch, it's the same. So there's no extra flotation from these sidewalls bulging. Zero. So all the flotation improvement is due to the lengthening of the contact patch. This is quite a contentious topic, you get all sorts of different opinions, so it's a great thing to debate. So I welcome people to comment, as well as like and subscribe. I enjoyed this topic so much, and many others, I'm going to turn this into at least a three-part series. The next video will be about the tyre width in relation to flotation and tyre diameter in relation to flotation. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope to catch you in the comments section or on the next video. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time. Now if we go in and start digging deep trenches in sand, there will be a small amount of extra sidewall pushing against the sand, but I don't know if that will do much for you anyway. But anyway, hello and welcome. My name is Rhett and today's topic is tyre pressure 